Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by United Wholesale Mortgage. Is Trid slowing you down? Not if you're closing with UWM. While other lenders are struggling, we're closing most Trid loans in 15 days or less. Thanks to easy to use tools like UClose and Ease and direct communication from submission to close. Get united at uwm.com. Welcome to Master the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway. This is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network. Brought to you by United Wholesale Mortgage. I've got to tell you, they've got some incredible tools that can help you every day in your business, like this marketing center that they put together for you to use free of charge. You need to check it out because it will make you look as if you have an entire marketing team working for you. Best of all, it's free. So what a week last week with housing. Lots of data and the media really tried to confuse people. I'm going to explain that in a minute. Also want to mention that this is a very important week because we do get jobs data this week. We're going to get the big jobs report this Friday. And it's the last one the Fed's going to look at before the December 16th Fed meeting where if they hike rates, and it looks as if they are right now, unless they're surprised by this jobs report, it could be very interesting. And we'll talk about that as well. So let's first start with the housing data of last week. All in all, very good, showing that homes are appreciating at a really strong clip, a very sustainable clip but also showing that even new construction is doing extremely well, although that's not what the media might want you to think. Now, new construction is improving as, as measured by new home sales. It jumped 10.7% month over month. But what do folks in the media say? People like Diana Olick on CNBC, who's been wrong about the housing market for the past four years and continues to have a very negative bias. She says that, hey, you know what? The reason why it was up was due to a negative revision last month, meaning that they took the numbers down last month, making it a smaller bar to hurdle, and therefore the jump looks exaggerated. So her point is correct, but what she failed to explain, and this just goes to that negative bias, is that even with this revision lower, it's still a very significant jump of 7%. Who wouldn't love that, right? A 7% jump in new home sales. The other thing the media continues to get wrong is that they refer back to the times about 10 years ago when new home sales were much greater. A lot more activity there. But do we really want to go to that oversupply, glut in the market and bubble-like conditions? I don't think so. The media doesn't understand that the laws of supply and demand work in housing. And right now, the supply level is tight, maybe a little bit too tight, you can argue that. But if you're an investor in real estate or buying real estate, it's very comforting to know that that tight supply means that your investment is protected and you'll probably see appreciation. Now we've seen appreciation at levels at about five to 6% through much of the country. Some areas certainly a little hotter than that, some a little bit cooler, but appreciation in general has been terrific. We have a calculator on the MBS Highway site that helps to show what that means in dollars and cents. So when you have a customer who's negotiating on a home and they say, okay, well, it might go up 5%, 4%, what does that mean to me? And they negotiate kind of in the blind. They don't really see what they have. Real estate agents tend to love when you can explain and articulate what the value means to them. Let's take a quick example. Let's go to our site here and we'll go right to the financial calculators and the financial calculators for, let's just say, appreciation. And what we'll do here is we'll put in, let's put in a starting home price of 400000 And let's just say the closing costs are 7% without escrows or prepaids. Now here you could kind of go to a, an area in the country that you'd like to show as far as what do you expect as far as appreciation. So if we went to California, the rate of appreciation that we're anticipating is about 7%. But let's just knock that down a little bit and let's just knock it down to 4.5%. Oh, we'll be very conservative. And if the individual puts 10% down and wants to take a quick look and see what this means for them, oh, six years down the road, Let's calculate that and see where we are. Well, many customers would be surprised to see that their $400,000 home, just a short six years from now, many times that's the length of a car loan, they'd be worth $520,000. And what does that mean to them? Well, initially at closing, you lose $7,000 because of the closing cost, but then you recover that rather quickly and you're up $113,000, very meaningful. What's your return on your money? Uh, just a 4.5% rate of return. Yeah, initially, 
you're down 17% of closing, but because of the leverage involved over time, it's almost a 300% rate of return. Very exciting, and most people definitely do not see this enormous benefit, so we can show that to them. Why don't you access this for free by just clicking on a link? But real estate values, a very powerful bright spot. Now, we did talk about Jobs Friday, and why is that so important? Well, there's another chart I want to show you here. The 10-year Treasury yield has been doing well and coming down. Two-year Treasury yields have been moving up rather significantly. And why is that important? As the spread narrows between the 10-year and the two-year, it could portend a recession. And why are we talking about this now when the spread between the two is, oh, it's about 129 basis points. It's not at zero or negative where we tend to see these things. We talk about this now because the spread between the two has been narrowing a bit. And the Fed, if they do hike December 16th, the two-year yield could go up. Possibly the 10-year yield comes down and it narrows the gap even further. Look at the correlation here. When we see them go to zero between the two or inverted, a recession tends to follow. That's this gray shaded area. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. So we see these trends occur. And listen, is it 100% locked in that this is going to happen? Of course not, but it's something you need to just think about. So why does this occur when the yield between the 10 year and the two year uh, narrows or goes to zero that worse economic times could be ahead? Well, it's because think about this. If you were going to the bank and you saw a 10-year yield for a CD that was at the same level or even cheaper than a two-year yield, it would feel unnatural. Why in the world would I take less money, tying my dollars up, or yet less interest rate, tying my dollars up for a longer period of time? That's because, believe it or not, the, the, the forecast for interest rates for the economy is that they would go lower, meaning into the future after the two years are up, probably when you rolled that over, the rate would be even less. So better to take the lower rate on 10 years. That thought process means that the forecast for the economy, not very good, thinking that economic times may be rougher, maybe lower rates, more stimulus. Now, while, of course, being in the mortgage business, that could be something that is a benefit to people refinancing, but overall in the economy, it may not be a good thing. So just something to keep your eyes on, something to look for. And we'll be back next week to you. Uh, it will be an interesting week with the jobs report. Bye-bye. At UWM, RAEs receive over 500 hours of training each year to keep you current with the industry. We give you direct access to your own team of underwriters who return your calls in three hours or less. And we provide exclusive products and tools that give your business a competitive edge. In fact, everything we do at UWM is dedicated to championing your success, which is why more brokers choose UWM than any other lender. World-class service, exclusive products, groundbreaking tools, and you. Get united with us at UWM.com. This is Mortgage News Network.